Divine Truth Assistance Group Group Assistance Sessions Putting Principles of Divine Truth into Action This recording is from the Developing My Loving Self Group and is part of an Education in Love series. In the God's Gifts to Develop My Loving Self question and answer presentation. Yvonne said earlier that, um, or asked, are you God's gift to us, being the messenger of truth? Yep. And um, uh, uh, that's the first part of the question. Yeah. Uh, and uh, but I, haven't I already answered it with that? Well, um, I didn't think fully because are you put me under pressure, you Paul. <laughs> <laughs> what do you What do you do to me? Go on. No, well, well, I didn't feel like you accepted that to start with. Right. So you're trying to make me accept it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were putting me under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> And the second part is, <laughs> are, are we also then God's gift to each other of course. when we accept your true self? Ourselves. Yep, you are. Isn't that a wonderful thought? You're God's gift to each other if you accept your true nature and personality. Only then, actually. Yeah, it's a wonderful thought, isn't it, really? So I am not God's gift to you in any more extreme way than you're God's gift to me, which is the reason why I answered the way that I did with Yvonne. Does that make sense? Mm, except for that you have accepted. No, no there's oh. no accept. There's no accept. Yeah, I know you want to make the exception that I have accepted my real nature, but the truth is that when you accept your real nature, you'll be just as a gift to me as I am to you. Does that make sense to you? See, so well, well, it does. But when I accept myself, then I will be. But, but you have accepted yourself, so well, yeah, you of course. The, are, yeah. the real big word mm. is if, isn't it? If I do. So, so if I accept myself and I accept my personality, I accept my nature and I choose to develop that God's way to the point where I also have my other half choosing to develop that God's way and so forth, then, of course, I'll be a gift, a real gift to everyone around me, God's gift to everyone around me. So what applies to me applies to you. You've got to get away from this thing that many of you still have and that is that what applies to me doesn't apply to you. <coughs> Not true. What applies to me applies to you. It's the same for us. We've had, to, uh, we've had to embrace our true nature and our true personality. We've had to embrace our will. We've had to, we've had to desire to do it with God so that we could receive God's love and have the relationship with God. Only then have the benefits the benefits you're currently receiving through this education even have only been engaged by somebody, by us, engaging that process, the exact process that we're suggesting you engage. Yep. And, and if we had chosen, if we had chosen differently, it would be somebody else, I would assume, who chose it. And therefore they would be that gift. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. But each one of you have that. Your soul, your whole soul has that. A gift to each other. A gift, uh, God's gift to educate us and to un help us understand God. Yeah. And, and what you're saying is that you and Mary haven't fully embraced that gift. Um, so we're not fully experiencing that at the moment is... Well, it, it's, if you think about it from a logical perspective, no individual probably ever is going to fully embrace the gift because we're finite beings approaching the infinite. Do you see what I'm saying? So you could say that really it's only God that has that final gift, if you like, in its full expressed nature, and we're working our way towards that. So what, what I've learned is that the more I... You know, obviously I have to get rid of the sin first. And then the more I develop my loving self, the more benefit I am, firstly, the more joy and happiness I receive myself, but also the more benefit I am to the rest of humanity. And you can see that, right, that that must be the truth. So, so you know, it does get down to that wonderful little 
word, doesn't it? It's a wonderful little two-letter word, powerful two-letter word. If, if I choose, if I decide, if I use my will, if. Like that's a big if and, and the if is completely your decision. Yeah, just like it had to be ours. So, so I recognised in the first century that God wanted somebody to be first. <laughs> and, I, and I didn't want to be first. I was just looking around waiting for somebody to be first like you are now. <laughs> Until I worked out that actually nobody seemed to want to be first. <laughs> and I thought, well, you know, I might as well be first if nobody else is going to be. Right? And it was a choice, a decision made to allow that. Now, I also know that I had certain things happen to me that allowed for that to happen, but I only discovered that afterwards. Up until that time, I thought I was just the same as everyone else too. Does that make sense? And, and I realised that, no, there were certain things that happened to me in the process of helping me be first. So, I, so even my being first is not my own... It's not fully my, of my own doing. So, th so when you talk about me, you know, as if it's being special, being first, I don't see that because I feel, no, God did that. I had to do some things, but God did some things first. Do you see? So, so I can't really... This is why I find it hard. See, it, you think it's an issue of worth that I don't accept your feelings about that, and it's certainly not an issue of worth for me. It's an issue of truth. The reality is, no, God did a whole heap of things for me. And that was a part of God's gift, certainly. Does that make sense? But God was going to do it with somebody, but that somebody would have to be a person that God knew was going to engage the will to do it God's way. Have the, to have the feeling, here I am, send me. Right? Which is actually a quote from the Bible. But that's how I felt. Here I am, send me. Like, I'll do it. Nobody else seems to want to. And then after that, I realised that actually God had already knew that I would. But that, that took me after that, you know, to decide to work that out. But I didn't see it as anything special in myself. You follow me? And, it's, and I still don't feel it as such. It's not special in myself. It's something special God gave, which is very, very different to what I've developed. Now, I have developed in this life a very strong faith of my own doing. Right? But I can't say that my first century life's faith was of my own doing. Now, I have developed in this life a very strong humility. But in the first century, I can't say that my humility was fully of my own doing. Because there were certain things God did to assist me to have it. Do you follow? So, yeah, so I, I see myself the same as you see yourself. Now, at the moment, that's a problem because I need to fix my unworthy feelings about myself just like you do. Right? And I feel quite confident that I'm on the right track to doing that. But, but the reality is all of us have those unworthy feelings <coughs> and we're all going to have to work through them. And, it, and that is not dependent on what God's gifted us. God's gifted us equally a lot of things. And I, and I personally feel the extent of God's gifts perhaps more than you do at this stage because I feel that a lot of my life in the last 2,000 years has been the fact that I've received a gift, some gifts that you are now receiving from through the mechanism God's provided but, but I received them from God so I feel it's a unique sort of thing but God had to do it with somebody because the way things were going was that sin was going to dominate everything but it had to wait to a person to you could say it had to wait until humanity the condition of humanity had developed enough to allow for a person to have that feeling Does that make sense? here i am send me and the thing which i take from it sort of is that you chose to embrace being yourself and and be yourself in the world to the degree where yep. you're, you're, you're expressing yourself. And this is... But I've learnt far more about it now than I knew about it before. 
through this in, through yep. this return process. Yep. But this is a huge motivation for what the gift we can give to the world by just <laughs> embracing ourselves. our personality, our e being exactly. ourselves. Exactly. If you think of every one of God's gifts, and the reason why, and perhaps we need to finish on this topic, every single one of God's gifts to develop your loving self has to be engaged before it will be realised, right? And tomorrow morning, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about your role in engaging these gifts. But all of these gifts have been provided equally to all persons. right? So God, God's not a differentiator of people. He's not partial. He's impartial. So, so God's given these gifts to all persons. And it really gets down to the Greek if, if we decide we can engage the gift or not. And, and this is what we need to understand. What we hope to have helped you with today is to see that, wow, there's just an amazing soul <laughs> that you are, the pinnacle of God's creation. And, and, and at this stage, I understand that you might not understand how great it is, but if I say just those words that it's more complex than any other being, creation in the universe and it's actually more complex than the universe itself that'll give you some idea of why god feels you are the pinnacle of god's creation as a soul complete soul and being the pinnacle of god's creation god then offers you all these things that god's not offered other creations he offers you these same things that god hasn't given to other creations other creations have limitations which you don't have right and God's done all of these things and offered all of these gifts. And the real question is, what am I going to do with that? Isn't it? I, I, am I going to choose to engage? Or am I going to choose to stay you know, in this fear and not engage? Or am I going to choose to use my will, even after I've dealt with all the sin, to not engage? What am I going to do? There's no guarantee that after you've gotten rid of all that, that you'll even engage after that. No guarantee, because that's an exercise of your will. That's the big if. And that's why we want to talk about that with you tomorrow morning. Is that all right? Thank you. Okay, so I feel that's a natural place to finish, so let's finish there. Thanks, guys. And we'll see you tomorrow at uh, bright and early at 11 o'clock as if that's bright and early, and, uh, and present the last four hours of our entire week. Last day. Hooray! No? <laughs>